Hey there, and welcome to this video about SSL stripping. So what is SSL stripping? SSL stripping is a man in the middle attack where we'll be downgrading an HTTPS connection into an HTTP one so we can hopefully capture some login or personal information. Okay, so how does this attack work? Well, there's two parts in this attack. First off, since this is a man in the middle attack instead of the host directing through the router, going to the web server, we will tell him that the route to the internet goes through us first with some ARP spoofing. And then the second part in this is that we will uh, capture that request and we will send it to the web server for him. And when we get the web page back, we will strip uh, all of its HTTPS links in them and replace them with HTTP ones. And also make sure that he'll stay connected to an HTTP connection. So that is connection with the web server is uh, insecure. For this attack, I have set up a Windows 7 client who is using Internet Explorer for some reason, Internet Explorer 8. And uh, let's see if we go to Google. Uh, you'll see that we get redirected to an HTTPS connection. And if we go to Facebook, you'll see we'll also get redirected to an HTTPS connection. To execute this attack, we will be using a Kali Linux host. And to prepare for this attack, we will first enable IPv4 forwarding and we'll use echo one into proc sys net IPv4 and then IP forward. We'll check if that is set to one. And it is. Now we will redirect uh, TCP connections to port 8080, where our uh, SSL strip script will be listening. Uh, so we'll set up IP tables. Pre-routing of protocol TCP with destination port 80, and we'll redirect that to port 8080. And now we can scan the map for a potential victim using nmap. Uh, though uh, I have actually already run uh, this command because it can take quite a while sometimes. So we'll just use the default gateway for that. And then with the subnet 24. And as you can see here, I have found my own host and then this is the windows 7 machine and this is a windows 10 machine i have set up for later so now we will be uh, actually executing the attack we'll run the arp spoofing first with arp spoof arp spoof with interface ethernet zero with target the windows 7 machine and then we'll that to the default gateway. Okay, now that that is running, we'll open up a new window. And now we will run the SSL strip script with SSL uh, strip and set that to listen to port 8080. Now we're back on the Windows 7 client and let's see what it does if I go surf to Google. And as you can see here, I'm staying on an HTTP connection. Let's see what it does if I go to Facebook. Facebook.com. Oh, would you look at that? I am using HTTP on Facebook and let's see what happens uh, when I try to log in. So this is a test at Facebook. And as a password, I'll use a very secure password. Now we're back at our Akali Linux host. And as you can see, our SSL strip has been thrown quite a bit of errors, but it's working fine nonetheless. And now let's see if we have actually captured something. So I'll open up a new tab and then I'll just open up the SSL strip log. And as you can see, we have a few requests for facebook.com. And in the latest one, we have actually an email field 
with uh, test at facebook.com and uh, a very secure password. So we have actually captured that login attempt. So I have set up the Kali Linux to be attacking the Windows 10 client right now. And let's see what it does. Let's go to Google. And in Internet Explorer 11 now, I still get an HTTP uh, connection to Google. But let's see what it does if I try to sign in. I get redirected to an HTTPS client, so I don't think I'll be able to capture this login attempt. Uh, let's go to Facebook. And the same goes for here. I don't think I will be able to capture the login attempt anymore. Um, let's try Edge. Mm, and it looks like I have an HTTPS connection. Let's go for Facebook. And I also automatically get an HTTPS connection. Uh, let's try Firefox. And it looks like I get an HTTP connection for Google. And if I try to sign in, I get an HTTPS connection. And for Facebook, it looks like I get an HTTPS connection. So, uh, And then for on Chrome, uh, for Google, I get an HTTPS connection. And for Facebook, I get one as well. And for Opera, uh, HTTP for Google, but I don't think I'll be able to sign in. And no. And the same goes for Facebook. The reason why this doesn't work in modern browsers is because they implement HSTS. And what it does is make sure that pages that require to be HTTPS are in HTTPS. Uh, so uh, in order to make this work right now, we will have to bypass that. But I think this was all for this video and have a nice day.